supposed to be a moment This supposed to be a moment This supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it Hey man it's the ISO guy sensei the greatest 2K player in existence and man apparently we got some late 2K22 news man about the park some new game modes and etc man a, a lot of things i want to go over so make sure y'all watch this full video make sure you subscribe if you know it's free and make sure you hit the like button to help a nigga grow man okay so yesterday man okay I mean, you know i was collabing with cole man we got a funny video coming out on his channel and um this guy we were playing with uh, i think think his name's elite man he said he started talking about how we gonna play in Egypt and Iceland and shit. I'm like, what, what are you talking about, nigga? <laughs> and then he's like, bro, you ain't see Chaboba tweet? And I'm like, what? So I'm like, bro, why don't you tell me? You know I be, you be, I be on the news stuff. You know people always beg for my opinion, so you know I make little news videos about it. People want to hear my thoughts about the uh, the the 2K. So I go look. And he tweets out from these articles, man. And we're going to go over that. And, um, yeah, but this guy under one of his tweets says, Current Gen 2K22 is on a cruise ship. And it will dock in places around the world for events. Iceland is literally surrounded by water. It's an island nation. It works perfectly for something like this. So, you know, Iceland. Wait, guys, guys, guys. And let, let me know, because I forget, you know, it's been a long time since your boy been in the school with the little geographical shit. Isn't Iceland green? And then Greenland is ice? Like, isn't that like, and then it's like, they like, it's just like clickbait, nigga. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all let me know. I don't know why he taking, is this a real person? Like, why would you take pictures of this? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga taking pictures of maps and shit, boy. So this is like the head 2K developer, I believe. He's saying the largest percent of users who play 2K are in the my career mode, you know, the city and the neighborhood. And then they say it's definitely an area they put a lot of focus in. I don't, I don't know about those, my nigga. The city is all new in NBA 2K22. It was all new in NBA 2K League. And we took a lot of learning from our time developing that. And also watching how people interacted with it. We took all those learnings and applied them to 2K22. The all new city is teeming with interactivity. Man, I hope we can get games. Y'all let me know down below if y'all think we're gonna be able to get a lot of games, man. There's NPCs that populate the fresh city layout. Man, you know, there they was, the first two months, that shit was unplayable. People had to play in broadcast, my nigga. Like, how are they going to do this? Like, I don't get it. Hopefully, they mastered it in, in some type of way. I don't know what what the deal is. But um, then he says, if you look at last year, it was dead in many ways on Moses. Because there were no NPCs, right? No, because people couldn't get games, my nigga. You are in again, Jutsu, my boy. Right? Right? The only people you ever saw were people blowing by you on their skateboard or jogging by. Facts. You know? Because people were trying to get games. And they were going part to part. The buildings were there. You could interact with them. But there was nothing really taking place with them. In a way that was part of the plan. <laughs> it takes many years to build a complex system involving a big environment like a city. Right, so this basically confirms that the city is going to be in 2K for a few more years to come, man. And they're just gonna make a lot of the buildings that are inactive, active. <laughs> That's what it seemed like to me. And NBA 2K22 takes a big step to realize the vision of what that is. There is an all new quest system that engages my players with creative content don't worry man we're getting to the good stuff while offering different ways to level up to earn rewards for your my player it's a complete re-envisioning of what the city is 
Another thing in the city for next gen is we heard a lot of feedback from fans about I only have an hour. I just want to hop on. I want to get some games in 2K, then do what we got to do in our lives. That, bro, we've been saying that shit for the longest. So let's see if they actually fixed it, man. And he's like, we hear that. So we're going to be offering some matchmaking options in the city this year. There's going to be buildings in the city that you can roll up to and get a quick game. In. Hopefully, this matchmaking is, is really what everyone hopes it to be. Uh, people are like getting overly excited for it. But, you know, you know 2K be on their bullshit, bro. They brought back affiliations, man. And, <laughs> nigga... You go to another park, you get 50% less reps. So then it makes you just, it makes people just want to play with their affiliation. Like, they're idiots. So it's like, there's no point in bringing affiliations back. It's dumb as fuck. Then he says, you're going to start to see an island off in the distance. And every day it gets closer. So when we play in 2K, man, we're going to be seeing the island get closer day by day. It's going to be an image, you know, like mountains. Y'all ever been to Colorado and shit? Hopefully when like the closer you get the more like it'll lag or some shit because it's in the background I don't know bro. Hopefully not man Then he says you can jump off the boat nigga so we can be scuba diving like just go in the water like these You know just swimming in on 2k nigga and drop niggas off I, I don't know maybe maybe we'll be able to to swim to underground water you know, whatever, because they they saying we're going to be able to be in Egypt. Maybe there's some Egypt um, underground uh, park matches or some shit, man. I remember we had park matches on the water. But he's saying we could jump off the boat. Well, he ain't saying no. I, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe I'm getting a little too creative for these niggas. But he's saying you could jump off the boat. You can go to various around the world. We have an event in Egypt. <laughs> And we have events in Iceland in the later season. That 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 sounds like too good to be true. It sound kind of lit, you know, for last gen. Uh, there's no way they make last gen more lit than uh, current gen, which is next gen. And current gen that y'all call current gen is actually last gen. And current gen is PS5. You, you know, you, you get my drift. You know, 2K community, we down behind. But hopefully Egypt isn't just like basketball gods. Hopefully it's lit, man. Hopefully it's cool, man. And hopefully you niggas like it. But then he says, um, it's just a really cool way to keep the experience fresh and really show our passion and support for the current gen console base. No, nigga, it's the last gen console base who's still thriving very strong in our community. Fuck PlayStation, fuck Xbox. Y'all the niggas, niggas gotta deal with Y'all the reason niggas gotta deal with this shit. So this is a little more in depth. We've already got this information before, but this is a little more in depth what Mike Wang is saying. I don't know if this is real because there's some misspellings of the words. I don't fucking know, my nigga, but Wang says, the big goal for 2K was all about balance, all about skills, and all about counters and defense. That's a C. Isn't defense spelled with an S? I don't, I don't know. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> We've completely revamped our blocking system, steals, and our body system, and our shot contest system. All the things in the game that you do as a user. They are all more skill-based. Hope, hope so, man. What do y'all think they're actually going to improve in 2K when it comes to, like, skill and shit? And what are you hoping for the most? What you come away with is an experience that just feels a lot more rewarding. It rewards IQ, it rewards stick skills, and making the right plays. We really want to empower the defense, again, spelled with a C, to change the game this year. But as always, offense, spelled with a C. Bro, am I stupid or something? Let me see. Yeah, I'm not stupid. What is, what is going on? But anyway, they say, uh... We want to really empower the defense to change the game this year, hopefully, man. But as always, offense is huge for us. There's so much going on there as well. 
There's a lot to talk about with some new skills we've been adding to the game. Things that in the past maybe had been more animation based or even a dice roll based. That 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 sounds extremely exciting, my boy. Um because a lot of shit is animation based. A lot of shit is a dice roll. And that shit really annoys me as like a 2K player and always. But, um, you know, predictability. There needs to be more predictability. That's how you have a good game, man. Then he says, those things have all moved into a more skill based element. So let's hope that means predictability based element. So on the offensive end, if you don't make the right play, that's going to be on you. For me, it's a lot more fun, more engaging. We ain't never seen you. It really rewards the veterans who put time in and work to get good at the game. And at the same time, we're still accessible. We, we gonna see, man. So in the section right here, man, he's saying on the defensive end, everything has been reworked, man. From steals to movement to body collisions and to blocking. Everything has been re-architured and feels much better on the defensive end of the floor, Wayne continued. It also causes us to rethink a lot of things on the offensive side of the ball. How to make things more engaging there as well, so you can see a new emphasis on stick skills and IQ being in the right place. Again, he's talking about skill-based, less randomness, less of a dice roll. It really comes down to you as a player, your style, Hmm, so maybe it's more role-based. Your skill, competing against other people. Bro, listen to this shit right here. This year you step into an all new city that's teeming with life. There's activity, there's interactivity. The NPCs, they populate the fresh city layout. They are throwing the football in the park. Football league, league, league. There's kids riding their bikes and scooters. There's people just walking around, going shopping, walking down the sidewalks. It's a little more lived in this year. Feels a whole a lot more believable. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to lag, my boy. We got some more leaked intel, man. It's an all new dedicated basketball community. It's a neighborhood built on a spacious decks of a cruise ship. It sounds silly, but we like to say that you get to hoop in luxury this year. It has all the features you're used to and more. All the 3v3 courts, 2v2 courts, the trampoline ball, all of it is there. Cages leaked? I don't know why they have trampoline ball. Is there really a community for you trampoline playing ass niggas? Is there really? If you play cages all the time or more than any other mode, please comment down below and tell me why. Please, bro. But yeah, man, that's it with the news. But I wanted to go over one more thing, man. This nigga Neon, okay? And this has 10,000 likes. This is what's wrong with the world, bro, okay? 10,000 fucking likes, bro. This nigga probably trolling. I don't think he's this fucking stupid. But he says, officially dropped out of my senior year of high school, putting my all into NBA 2K22, Call me dumb. I don't care. Gonna make my dreams a reality. Okay, this is fucking stupid. Okay, I know they say, oh, take risk, blah, 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 blah. Look, bro, 2K is always gonna be here, bro. Neon already is like popping and shit, bro. He, he's already moving faster than a lot of niggas because of what he do and what a lot of the community is attracted to, bro. Finish high school, bro. Listen, for all you niggas, man, go to fucking school, bro. Stop playing these fucking video games. Use video games as a reward, bro. Reward yourself. Stop no life and if you ain't making money off this shit, bro. Seriously. Now, I'm not talking about neon and shit, you know, like creators that niggas is actually making money off this shit. But a lot of y'all niggas, you, you over gaming, bro. Live your life. That's why most of these people be depressed. All these gamers and shit, bro. Live your life, bro. Focus on sports outside. Have real connections. Not just the internet, bro. You're going to be empty your whole life, bro. I'm telling you. It's not the way to go. A lot of 
a lot of big YouTubers are even like agreeing with him, man. And those people, even though they might be successful in being a YouTuber and shit, like look at what their lives were before. Like if this shit didn't pan out, they would like be like losers, bro. Like dead ass. Don't be a fucking idiot, man. Take care of your responsibilities, man. When, while you're young, play as many sports as possible, man. It'll change you. It'll build character in you, man. Like, dead ass. Stop playing these fucking games. Use this shit as a reward. When I, when I was y'all's age, bro, I don't know how old everyone is watching this shit, bro. Nigga, I was never home, but I was still the coldest nigga on everything, right? Reward yourself. At the end of the day, then fuck with it. You know, every now and then treat yourself. But nigga, play sports, bro. I played football, baseball my whole life, bro. That developed me as a person. Like, you're in like a tribe. There's like a pecking order. It's not a tribe, you know. But there's a pecking, like real life shit. Like our anatomy, like who we are. Don't just be an internet nigga, bro. I'm telling you, it's a, you live a life of emptiness. There's so much, so many things you'll be oblivious to, and you'll just wonder why, like, you're so successful but just not happy. Like, when you get old, you're gonna look back and be like, bro, what the fuck? I don't have no memories, my nigga. But yeah, man, he's almost done. I think if he, like, if he stops now, he has to do, like, all four again or get the GED, and, like, if shit don't pan out, that's, like, a bad idea. Um, you don't know what could happen. These niggas can all ban him. You know, he be saying crazy shit. But look, a GED ain't the same as a diploma. Finish your fucking school, bro. You still can grind. Niggas got plenty of time. Nigga, you could probably still hit a meal while being going to school, bro. And this is like the easiest year. Don't be stupid, bro. And y'all niggas need to go on this nigga Twitter. Go on my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Z Swan Teasy, baby. You know, maybe not be too toxic, but like really try to talk some sense into this nigga if you care. I left a little comment like, you know, just, bro, stay in school, though. But I don't know, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all for uh, clicking on the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button. Turn on post notice. I'm going to be posting again tomorrow. We post daily on this bitch. And, um, yeah. Y'all be tuned in for tomorrow. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.